Well, you at home are joined by two MS neurologists, by Dr. Jonathan Cockwood and myself, Dr. Daniel Cantor. A lot of times patients come in, they say, why do I have to do these injectables or other medicines for MS? Why can't I just wait for there to be problems? So what do you tell patients about one of the other reasons that they should be on disease-modifying agents? Well, obviously, preventing disability. I think we've seen that now with our longer-term studies. Uh, unfortunately, many of the studies done to get these drugs approved initially were very short-term, typically a couple of years. Uh, and then we need to find out what are the longer-term consequences of being on medication or, and more importantly, being off medication. So uh, quality of life and disability are, are some of the main reasons, and that's the accumulation of the damage to the nervous system that occurs over time with repeated injury from multiple sclerosis. Okay, and what else do we know? We're saying at a poster here. What is this poster about? This is actually a study uh, from one of the initial trials that was used to get beta serin approved for uh, the treatment of multiple sclerosis. Um, and they uh, were remarkably able to go back after 20 plus 17 to 21 years and uh, find most of the patients who were in that trial initially. Uh, they found over half of them. That was pretty good considering the length of time. Um, what they discovered in in this process was that there was a higher mortality rate uh, than anticipated in people who weren't uh, on treatment in the initial clinical trial. So the people who were in the placebo group had a higher uh, mortality rate. Wait, so you're saying starting out earlier being on treatment versus still being on treatment potentially by a later time means you're going to survive longer? That's what the study's saying, or is suggesting at least. So that's the interesting part of this, to say, you know, in the past, we haven't really considered MS to be a disease that um, accelerates people's demise, it, disability, yes. And because people become disabled, they develop medical problems that are often associated with uh, chronic disease uh, being um, sedentary, a uh, more sedentary lifestyle, and they get uh, issues uh, with ventilation, breathing, uh, their lung capacity, a greater risk for infections, uh, uh, people who are bedridden uh, develop pressure sores. Uh, if you're not as active, you may gain weight and they're more prone to get diabetes and cardiovascular disease. So these have been contributors to the mortality in multiple sclerosis, but not necessarily directly due to MS, indirectly due to the disability caused by MS. But now we know that maybe even starting treatment earlier could not just mean a better quality of life, but might even mean a longer life. Yet another reason to talk to your neurologist.